Hey Aries, I hope that everybody is doing well. Um, before we get into it, I'm, uh, I'm going to set the intention. We are going to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, Aries, let's get into it. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for joining in. I hope that everybody is doing well. I was getting something about taking charge. Maybe being in control. Maybe being okay with being in control. When we're called to step it up. Now, let's get into it, friends. For anybody tuning in, this reading may resonate for you wherever you find Aries in your birth chart. All right. I'm seeing that there may be something that we were guided to end with um, with someone that uh, someone that was in control of something. I'm also hearing something about a revolution. That's the word that's coming through. Revolution. There may be an offer coming towards us that Aries... There may be an offer coming towards us that we're being guided not to take, okay? I'm hearing weight on it. This may be from someone that we feel attracted to that we already ended something with, okay? I'm hearing don't take the bait. I'm looking at clarity coming through for us. I'm hearing truth. Look. Okay. Clarity coming through on the person that's going to be offering us something. This is someone in a masculine energy, okay? And I'm seeing that something ended because we were being guided to set boundaries, okay? I'm getting that something happened that was not acceptable. That's what I'm hearing, Aries. Hearing it just like that. And I'm seeing that the reason that something ended with this person is because we, we were guided to set boundaries as we want stability. And I'm seeing that whatever they offer is not going to be for the stability that we want nor the security and that's why we're being guided not to take whatever this offer is that's coming in for us and i'm seeing that we are going to achieve the ten of pentacles as long as we stay in alignment regardless of what this person says when they come in okay just stay in a steady place emotionally. I'm hearing as we've been working towards, okay? So maybe this is something that we've been working on. And I'm getting that we're also being guided to um, to make sure to keep things ended, to follow our intuition um, regarding what to communicate with this person, okay? And I'm seeing that, like, following our intuition and knowing what to say in this situation is something that we've been um, really working on doing, really working on listening. I'm hearing, like, harnessing the voice of our intuition, so our ability to listen to that. I hope that everybody's doing well. I'm hearing something about I miss you. That's what I'm hearing, Aries.
I'm hearing collision. I'm hearing confrontation, Aries. There's a celebration that we're having. Maybe our, um, maybe us with our guides. I'm seeing three people. And I'm seeing that judgment is called. So maybe a celebration that's happening because judgment's being called. I'm hearing bin being called. I'm seeing someone praying and I'm also seeing something about yoga, okay? And I'm also getting that there's a celebration because judgment's called and um, judgment... Judgment sees us in alignment, okay? That's what I'm getting here strongly. I'm seeing us in alignment with um, with what we feel we're being guided to do and also us like being, I'm hearing a steady beacon of light, okay? And I'm seeing that there's a celebration because of a harmony that's coming for us. I'm hearing Libra. If you feel guided, check that out. I'm seeing that um, I'm seeing that judgment was called also because there may have been some confusion regarding all of the options that we had. I'm hearing at our disposal, and I'm seeing that spirits coming in for us to help us. Um, I'm hearing to guide us through to set things straight. All right. I'm seeing that the celebration that happens. Um, is in regard to um, a collaboration that we're getting into, which is also going to be part of a union, okay? And I'm seeing that this may be with the Divine Masculine. I'm also seeing us stepping into our power, and I'm seeing that by judgment being called and things being sorted out, that we are seen stepping into our Emperor energy, okay? Which is all about stepping into our power. I'm seeing... Us in a boss role, okay? Us being in alignment with our emotional, moral integrity. Us following what we feel we're being guided to follow, what we feel like we're being guided to do. Listening to our, I'm hearing spiritual guidance, okay? And I'm seeing us stepping into a boss role, one that is respected. Also one that is very much, I'm hearing, in charge of the show, okay? I'm seeing a lot of king energy here. And again, I'm seeing the divine masculine, okay? And I'm seeing that we're stepping into a role where we're finding our Ten of Cups. Maybe also um, seeing our Ten of Cups from a different perspective, which allows us to see it. I'm hearing for what it is. Now I'm looking at Pisces. I'm looking at Pluto. I'm looking at Taurus. I'm looking at Aries. And I'm looking at Neptune. We may be feeling like we're at a crossroads um, regarding who we want to be collaborating with. Okay. I'm getting that like as long as we're in alignment that things are going to fall into place the way that they're supposed to. I'm getting something about a golden rose, okay. I'm seeing that we're manifesting the Ten of Cups. Which is going to be like ultimate family happiness, family satisfaction. And I'm seeing that um, we may be manifesting something with a Pisces. It could be that area of our chart as well. I'm looking at Mercury now, the magician popping up. I'm smelling cologne here. And I'm seeing that something is being called out about the divine masculine, okay? about the Divine Masculine that we are going to be collaborating with. I'm seeing that we also like choose the, I'm um, hearing the next steps, the direction that we're going to go in by, um, by calling things out. And I'm seeing that in the past, there may have been a soul contract where we were involved with a Pisces. Okay. A Pisces that was not in a serious energy. Um, I'm seeing like someone in a playful, non-committal energy manifesting the Ten of Cups, okay? And I'm seeing that it was part of a soul contract for you to be involved with this person. That's like the magician I'm seeing and I'm looking at Pisces here, okay? 
And I'm seeing that we are healing something by calling it out about, um, about I'm hearing the fork in the road and also about the thing that we had lost sleep over Aries. Retrograde really digging things up this time. I'm hearing tying loose ends, okay, friends? I'm seeing that we were guided to end something. This is a painful ending that we experienced, okay? Maybe one that we really felt resistant to. Um, I'm hearing to put into action. I'm also hearing come to terms with, okay? This can be with a Capricorn, with an Aries. I'm seeing something going on in our physical environment with a divine masculine and us having to end things. because we were being guided to set boundaries. Maybe we didn't feel like, um, like whatever this person was involved in, maybe what they were saying to us didn't feel empowering, okay? I'm looking at a Capricorn, somebody that we feel very connected to, Aries. And I'm seeing that we were taking on too much by trying to balance them in our lives. I'm hearing it wasn't working out. So I'm seeing that something painful, painful cycles, we were really being guided to end these cycles, okay? Ones where things were not working out, ones that didn't feel empowering to us. I'm getting like things that just turned murky, muddy. <coughs> Excuse me, friends. Okay, I'm seeing that in ending these cycles that we step into a place where we do feel empowered, where we're setting boundaries that help us to feel like we're in control in a way where we want to feel in control, and also in a way where we're demanding our equal give and take, our reciprocity. I'm hearing equality. This can be with a Capricorn. I'm looking at somebody in our physical environment that we feel very, very much. I'm hearing soulfully connected, and I'm seeing that there's clarity that comes through for us about the divine masculine about how we were taking on way too much before S stuff that was so much that it was absolutely unmanageable and i'm looking at us undergoing a transformation i'm hearing thereafter okay We're also undergoing a transformation regarding, I'm hearing what our collaboration looks like and maybe our title within the collaboration. I'm seeing us stepping into a role where we are in charge of this thing, okay? I'm hearing in charge of the company. I'm hearing company dynamics and I'm seeing that um, we are manifesting clarity. I'm hearing coming through for us. Somebody also may be coming through to... Um, to share some truth with us. I'm hearing shed some light on it. I just said shed some light on it. Um, on the collaboration and on the transformation that the collaboration has undergone. I'm getting that like something has majorly been um, like edited to the point where it now becomes a transformation, okay? 
So now it can become our Ten of Pentacles. I'm seeing that something we were involved in before like was really not working out for us. And that is why we were guided to take the steps that we have been guided to take in this. So we can see things. I'm hearing work out. I'm also hearing work your magic. And I'm seeing that we're leaving behind manifesting things that are out of alignment. And I'm seeing that this is also a transformation as well with our wish fulfillment. And I'm seeing that now we wish for a collaboration. I'm hearing like, um, like in our light energy, okay? So maybe something that we feel like we've manifested from a grounded place. I'm hearing something about Taurus and now I'm looking at the magician, which speaks on Virgo. The magician is Mercury energy, also speaks on Gemini as well. And I'm seeing that we're now manifesting our 10 of pentacles and we're doing so from a boss position, okay? And I'm seeing that our intuition is guiding us to um, to walk into what we want to manifest, what we want to see. I'm hearing um, manifest into our 3D physical reality, okay? And I'm getting that. Um, I'm hearing us following our intuition as our best bet. And I'm seeing that... Um, this is going to be the end of a cycle for us. I'm getting that this was also a lesson for us to learn how to step into our energy, step into our power. I'm also hearing learn what we are capable of, Aries, especially in a leadership role, Aries. I'm hearing something about firstborn. And I mean, Aries is the first sign in, um, in the zodiac as well. I'm hearing leader of the pack. And Aries is symbolized by the Emperor, which is ultimately um, like one of the most powerful cards in the deck. I'm saying one of the most powerful because the Empress. I'm getting that um I'm getting that we're healing from from more than one cycle that we felt very hurt within. We may be engaging um right now um in in some shadow work that we're doing, okay? Maybe addressing some childhood trauma, maybe things from maybe things from our teen years I'm hearing, okay? Teen years. That were lessons, lessons about setting boundaries, okay? Yes, yes, Aries. I'm hearing smooth sailing now. That's what I'm hearing, smooth sailing. Um, I'm hearing something about one of those dogs that's, uh, it's a spaniel. The one of the dogs that's lady, lady from Lady and the Tramp. Something about that. Okay, Temperance. I'm looking at Sagittarius. I'm here looking in the eyes. We may have something going on with Sag. This can always be that area of our chart, friends. There may be somebody who's got their eye on you, Aries, could be a Sagittarius, you could be watching a Sagittarius. I'm seeing also that we're, we are learning how to, I'm getting like, I almost wanted to yawn like out of nowhere there. Um, I'm seeing that we're we're learning how to temper something um, in regard to either people watching us or maybe us watching other people. Um, maybe people that we find attractive, okay? Interesting message to be coming out. Um, we also may be tempering something regarding us stepping into our power. Maybe only watching things, viewing things that do 
help us to feel empowered rather than focusing on stuff that doesn't allow us to feel empowered and I'm seeing us maybe tempering how much we're um we're absorbing things interacting with things I'm hearing energetically okay and I'm seeing that um by us, um, I'm hearing manifesting balance, okay, that we undergo a transformation and we're also removing, I'm hearing obstacles and delays from our pathway. Okay, Aries. I'm getting us like really getting into our own zone and not so much minding the business of others. And maybe ending cycles where we don't feel adequate, okay? Maybe stepping into a power, stepping into our power, stepping into a place where we do. Stepping into a place where we feel like we can um, obtain our Ten of Pentacles. Feel happy at home, feel safe at home, feel secure in our home. I'm seeing like us also finding our Ten of Pentacles and getting connected with our guides. I'm hearing our guidance as well. Getting connected with our guides, our guidance. Our knowledge. Our less commonly known knowledge. I'm getting like getting the connect to it. Ooh, I'm, I'm getting like what's the 411, okay? I'm seeing that there's, um, there's a union coming for us that leads to our Ten of Pentacles. This can be a union with our yin and our yang and um, that putting in a place where I'm here. We feel very satisfied, Aries. And I'm seeing that um, whatever this thing is that's coming for us, whether this be a partnership or this be or this be with us um, getting connected with our yin and our yang. I'm seeing that this is also very much one of our karmic lessons for us to learn how to do. I'm seeing like us finding stability in in our um, efforts to ground. I'm getting like, and then the high priestess, the energy of the high priestess, and also the information materializes before us. So it's like by getting connected with our guides, with our um, third eye, I'm hearing high mind, higher mind. I'm getting that like, the high priestess is revealed to us and so is like the union that we want to embark upon both within ourselves and then maybe with a partner and i'm seeing that this is part of i'm hearing a grand lesson for us aries we're gonna run through this one more time okay i hope that um i hope that everyone's having a lovely day or night time wherever you are I'm hearing the work I do, we do together, so maybe feeling a sense of harmony with those around us, okay? Maybe feeling a sense of harmony with those around us. A union. We could be going to a wedding. We could have gone to a wedding recently. I'm seeing that we're finding harmony maybe after being around energies that, um, whether this be us with ourselves, us with another or another with us, I'm seeing that we're finding harmony after maybe having been in an energy that was not ready for that type of commitment I'm getting. And I'm seeing that we're now manifesting that commitment into our lives. I'm hearing because we're ready, okay, Aries? I'm hearing really ready. I'm feeling um I'm feeling pain on the uh on the left side of my throat chakra. Someone may need to clear that. If you're feeling like you have any blockages, okay, I'm getting something like wrapped around that. I'm also feeling pain in my left ear. Okay, I'm seeing an illumination now of the marriage of the Four of Wands. 
and I'm seeing like the hermit is looking inside of his little lantern. Um, I'm hearing like looking at the past and now where we step to, I'm hearing step into. I'm hearing step from. Now I'm hearing step bird. And I'm seeing us getting into some sort of union. There being illumination of this place. Now I just saw 2544, this place that we're stepping into. I'm hearing ready for it. And I'm seeing us stepping into a place where um, this is a celebrated role. This is like a wifey energy. This is someone um, that is perceived as being warm. I'm hearing friendly. I'm also hearing motherly as well, okay? Someone that is... Um, Someone that is comforting to go to when others, um, I'm hearing need an ear to listen, um, a shoulder to lean upon. And I'm seeing also that like we've really gained um, a sense of wisdom too in stepping into this motherly role. I'm hearing that we now assume, okay? Maybe because of the experience that we've been through in life and now we're stepping into a role where we can be a teacher to those around us. And I'm looking at um I'm looking at there being a really grand I'm hearing like amazing transformation that we've undergone as the hermits, which I just saw 2644 on the time. We have gotten to a place where we started off in a very immature energy where um I'm hearing like um I'm hearing wisecracker. Um, that's just what's coming through, okay? Um, I'm getting that like we may have really been like in a joking kind of energy, an immature energy, fun games, all of that. Um, very fiery, however, not a stable energy that was going to build. I'm hearing nor commit, okay? And I'm seeing that in us really, I'm hearing doing deep, deep reflecting. I'm also hearing shadow work. I'm seeing that we pull from within us. I'm hearing extract the wisdom of the high priestess. We get into this place where we are analyzing our past. I'm hearing also like learning our karmic lessons, learning from the past, learning from the choices that we've made and observing where they have led us and not repeating those same things unless we want to end up in that place. And like really, I'm um, hearing like it's almost like the our intuition curves a path like along this river along the rocks and where we go like it starts wearing down these different paths that we want to go down and we can now kind of move the water so it can flow more easily down certain avenues and we want it to go down the avenues where we like the ponds that it leads to i'm getting something like that for us aries just a little something like that for us <laughs> And I'm seeing that this is, I'm hearing this is how we manifest as the magicians and collaborate with our intuition. That's what I'm getting for us. I'm getting, I'm hearing like the business that we've worked on, the personal work that we've done, what we've studied. And I'm getting that this is like the wisdom of the high priestess, of the magician, and of the hermit coming to light for us. Okay, friends, we're going to end it there. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody genuinely love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Thank you.